Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for November 22nd. Happy Thanksgiving to those of you in the USA. I decided to do this at night. You know, what's done in the dark is always better, right? <laughs> More mysterious, that's for darn sure. So, this is for all signs, but this is not a private reading. This is an energy I am picking up for Thursday, November 22nd. For somebody. Could be one person, could be a thousand. Could be not you. If it is, if this reading has your name on it, let me know. If it doesn't, keep that shit to yourself. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, do, please. Anyway, um, daily energy, daily energy for November 22nd. What do we need to know? Something's happening. Yeah, there's something happening. Something could be happening quickly. I mean, you could be receiving some sort of communication very quickly. Or something could just be happening quickly. Whatever it is, we're going to get a bunch more cards. But, something. Movement. That's for damn sure. Justice is being served. Well, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Something is happening that is going to bring some balance back to your life. And it's it's going you're going to feel like some sort of justice has been served perhaps. Well, let's get the rest of the cards. Ooh, happiness. Oh, that's the feeling of the card. Mm. We're going to do it this time, this way, this time for the daily vibes. I had planned that earlier. Ooh, hair font reversed. Hip, hip, hooray. Now, we also have the six of cups on the bottom. So, memories of the past could be at the surface. You know, it is a holiday after all. At least it is in the U.S., right? But wherever you're at in the world, there's memories that are at the surface, Okay. Somebody from your past could be contacting you, or you could just be reminiscing about the past, whatever it is. This could be communication with somebody from your past, or somebody from your childhood, or somebody that you've known before, or even from an ex. So, we have... some sort of decision that is being made right with the with the justice and the seven of cups is a decision that has been made or is being made somebody is finding the strength and the courage and the confidence to bring happiness to their lives and to bring this happiness to see the light, because the sun is light. They're going to have to make some sort of decision in regards to their future. Okay? Now, things have been stalled for quite some time because of mental conflict, right? The turmoil, the thoughts, the fears, the stepping outside of my comfort zone... Uh, needing to protect myself have have hindered this whole process okay somebody has 
been really dissatisfied with where they're at, realizing that this is not realistic and whatever I'm doing isn't um, bringing me the benefits or the rewards that I thought I was going to get. It's like the grass wasn't greener over here or... Or, you know, this isn't satisfying. It's not, I'm not satisfied with this. I'm not happy with this. And now they've made a decision to, to find their strength to bring some happiness back to their lives. So it looks as though there, I mean, this is a card of appreciation, the three of wands. They're finding a, there's a newfound appreciation for something. And it feels as though somebody has been waiting for the right time. To do, to do something. They've been preparing to make this decision. They've been waiting for the right time to tell the truth, perhaps. Because with the justice, you think about the justice system. It's where the truth comes out, right? So somebody has been waiting for the right time to tell the truth. And, and here with the Hierophant, there's like a lack of faith, a lack of trust, a lack of commitment, a lack of believing, and a lack of listening to your inner guide. Somebody hasn't been listening. And there could have been even a fear of commitment. Or just not knowing what to do. Seeking guidance but not receiving it or not hearing it. You know, I just don't know how I'm going to handle this. I don't know. And they may have even lacked faith in themselves. Whether it's you or the, this person that is going to communicate. Somebody has lacked the faith. To make a decision. Trying to escape it. But there's consequences, right, for, for not acting with integrity, for not being honest. There's consequences. This is a card of consequences. This is too. You have a card of, we have two cards of consequences here. And karma. Absolutely. The justice is karma. So there's a, there's karma that comes about for making the wrong choice, for not acting with integrity, right? There is. And now, you know, there's an opportunity for extreme happiness that has been delayed because somebody was afraid to step outside of their comfort zone. And it looks as though they may be finding the strength to communicate or move in the direction because, you know, they want happiness. Somebody is looking for happiness. Maybe they've become enlightened, right? Maybe through karma. Enlightenment through karma. And consequences, you know. Somebody is definitely has, looks like they have found the strength to, to be honest. To be held accountable for their actions. You know, the justice card is about being held accountable for your actions. Usually through karma or the justice system, whatever the case is. Think about the universal justice system, right? There is a justice, universal, a universal justice system. I mean, there is. So somebody is finding their courage and their strength to, it looks like, communicate. Because they aren't satisfied with The sentence, <laughs> you know, they aren't satisfied with the, uh, you know, yeah, the sentence. What more can I say? You know, the, oh, uh, penalty, you know, whatever the case is with what happened, the outcome. So it looks as though... They couldn't find, because this is a card of free will and destiny, they couldn't find the mental capacity or the mental strength to come outside of their comfort zone, 
to go after their happiness. So their destined path or destined reward, because this is a reward, couldn't arrive because free will plays a part. And I think during this time of, you know, mental turmoil, they were gaining the strength over time to come forward. It's been a long time coming with this three of wands. It's like somebody has waited uh, quite a long time. Let's get some clarifiers, huh? We're gonna shuffle. This may have something to do with the past, okay? It may absolutely have something to do with the past. Uh, it could be a past lover or even the memories. Oh yeah, so we were dealing with somebody that didn't have integrity. Page of coins. This is a person that, you know, has a wandering eye, didn't act with integrity, didn't find the moral backbone to do the right thing, couldn't apologize. Um, lost their focus, lost their concentration, um, a player. And now perhaps they, you know, this is love. Perhaps now they love. Perhaps now they see the love. Or they want love. And they're willing to take a risk. So, you know, I'm not sure what the hell this is, but it appears that somebody may be wanting us to start over. Fresh new start. New beginning. It could be somebody from your past. This could even be a reconciliation with someone from your past after they you know, made the wrong choice and did the wrong thing and didn't want to be held accountable and didn't have integrity. Maybe they, this is an apology in the upright, you know, so I'm not sure. I mean, maybe they're going to come in with an apology. Don't hold your breath. That's, that's, this reading is not for everybody, okay? Um, somebody wants a fresh new start or they're about to head in a new direction and not take the past with them it's like you know I'm ready to start over I'm ready for this new beginning somebody has made a decision to start from scratch and that's that's the absolute truth here this is the ground zero it's like starting at zero can we please start over somebody is making the decision to start a new journey Brand new. So let's get some clarifiers here. This is for the 22nd. We have an opportunity for a lot of happiness as some sort of, it looks like somebody is making a decision to communicate. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, this is a the stark wish fulfillment. This is happiness. This is healing. This is a blessing sent from heaven. Now, this is funny. The six of coins reversed underneath the justice card. You could call this the justice card in the minor arcana. Okay, you could. You see the scales? It's not quite as strong as this one, but somebody is, look at the card. They realize that they did not do the right thing. Somebody is coming to the conclusion that they need to bring balance back. They need to tell the truth. But there's fear of rejection here, absolutely. Somebody has fear of rejection. Will it be accepted? Here we have a star. This is an opportunity for, for wish fulfillment. It's a time of inspiration. It's a time of hope. It's also a time of healing. This is also a blessing. This is like heaven sent. It's like heaven or whatever is bringing some sort of
wish fulfillment. After it's been delayed for quite some time because somebody was stuck. Really, really stuck. Probably one of the reasons they were stuck was for because of fear of rejection. And fear of commitment. And because they weren't listening. They weren't listening to anybody. Or they were listening to the wrong people. They weren't listening to their inner guide. For sure. Absolutely. And now there's an opportunity to... I mean, look at this shit. It's like heaven sent. It's like... It is. It's like seeing the light from above. From It's like... It's like heaven has shown them the light. See the light and the light. The sun with the star. It's beautiful. These are... It's like... <laughs> They've been shown the light. Somebody is seeing the light. And it is a portal day. 11-22. Can you guys see that? It's a portal day. 11-22. It's a big day. A very big day. It's a very prominent day. Um, it just is. So anyway, um, there is an opportunity for a person, I don't know who this is for, to receive some sort of message or communication from someone that they've been wishing for and waiting for for quite some time. And it makes them very happy. So yeah, I don't know who this is for. Now this could be a family member. It could be somebody that, because with the Six of Cups, it could absolutely be an ex-lover. It could be somebody that you haven't talked to in years and years and years. And then all of a sudden, you know, you know they, they give you a call or they send you a text or they send you a message on Facebook or whatever. You're gonna, it looks as though you're going to receive some sort of message from somebody that's going to make you happy. Whatever this message is. But where is it going to lead? But where is it going to lead? Let's get some Let's get some of these. Let's see what comes up here. Somebody is realizing that they deserve, whoever the other deserves fairness. They deserve this communication, you know. They haven't been treated fairly, you know. I didn't treat this person fairly. I didn't make the right decision and I need to come clean. I don't know who this is for. So, yeah, I think that there's going to be some sort of <laughs> long-awaited communication, even if it's just an apolished apology. I don't know who this is for. I really don't. Um, I don't know what it is. You know, things happen during the holidays. You never know. Ooh. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Perfect. Perfect. Whatever happens, happens, right? Flirt! Oh, wow, well, that could get you in trouble. It usually does. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Why not? Why not? And this doesn't... Anybody. And that doesn't mean that... You know, it could be anybody. Because what that does is... It makes people feel good. Right? But it could get you in trouble if you flirt with the wrong one. So, I mean, don't go flirting with somebody that's attached. <laughs> Scratch that one. That's not a good idea. Ooh! Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yeah. It's the holiday. I've mentioned the holiday a couple times, haven't I? It's a time. It's time to, you know, just be happy. And maybe that's what this is. Somebody's like, you know, it's the holidays. I really miss this person. 
I want, you know, I'm thinking of, it's the holidays, I remember the memories we used to have, and they contact you. You know, it's the holidays. Maybe you plan to have Christmas together, or you plan to uh, meet each other on whatever, travel to each other, whatever the case is. You know, we got a bunch of people watching this. Soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. So for some of you, not everybody that's watching this, you will probably receive communication from a soulmate. It is a very powerful, powerful day. And it's a blessing. It is absolutely a blessing with the sun card and the star card. It's wish fulfillment. It, it's, wish, it's what you've been waiting for. Or it's what you've been getting prepared for. So, good luck and happy Thanksgiving. I hope this reading is for you.